month. It's on Christmas Eve? She would like if you celebrated with her. Oh, that's perfect. Thanks a million, Master. You're the bomb. One more thing. We can't do this anymore, okay? No more meetings. To say that my excitement level of Masame Kun's Revenge was at an all time high is an understatement. It's one of my favorite anime of all time. And when I say that, I say it loosely. Like, I mean, like, top 30, top 40, top 50 anime of all time. There's, like, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of anime. So that's pretty damn good. But when the return of it was announced, I was just over the moon and excited. But I was like, I've been waiting six years for this. Finally getting to see the return of our fat boy turned lover boy going after Aki Aragaki and all his revenge plots and everything else. And this specific season did take a lot of twists and turns. This specific episode didn't really take any twists or turns. It's just all kind of predictable. But I have to say out the gate, one of the things that really rubbed me the wrong way is if this doesn't go the way that I think and instead goes the way that it revealed at the end of the episode, I'm really pissed off. Because at the end of the episode, uh, Masa, Masamune is talking to... Yoshino about like, hey, what do we do now? And how's it going on your end? Blah, blah. Basically trying to continue the friendship and the relationship that they established, you know, constantly plotting the revenge. Basically, they got very, very close and everything else. And if the anime is suddenly going to shift to him realizing that, oh, maybe Yoshino is the right one this whole entire time, I'm going to flip my freaking ass lid. Because like, Aki was the exact person that he thought. She finally, after pursuing and pursuing and pursuing, she finally agreed to give him a shot. She finally agreed to date. And yeah, you know, she was like, oh, let's return you to the fat boy that you were, whatever. Like, she's playing around at the end of it. Like, if he just kind of grows a pair of balls and just says, hey, you know, that's just not me anymore. But what you see here now is, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm here for you, blah, blah, blah. There's so many different avenues that he can take. But... Who she is is who she thought. And, like, at the end of the day, too, when, when you think about his and her relationship, he has a good grasp on her um, personality and the way that she handles things. And he can pr pretty much keep her in line, you know, not not straying too far from, you know, from the line. And he knows that she's a little bit tsundere and all this other stuff. So, like, there's a lot of qualities that he's been looking for that Aki has, and he finally has her. And now that he has her... Not only this episode did he get confessed at by some random girl. Okay, no problem. But then we have church girl who, you know, she says, oh, I'm just going to wait for you kind of thing. And he doesn't instantly pump the brakes on that. He's like, okay, well, we'll we will pick this up at a later date. He was even looking at her during the class. So it's like, yo, you just signed the contract. You just signed the deal, right? You, you, you're going to the Lakers, you know, and you're looking over there at the Boston Celtics and the Bulls still like, hmm, maybe. It's like, nah, bro, you just signed the deal. So it's like, yo, and then and then he meets with Yoshino later and he suddenly gets taken aback where she's like, yeah, we can't do this anymore. Like, you know, we uh, we got to cut ties here. And he's like taken aback by that. Like, yeah, obviously you're no longer vying for revenge. You're no longer plotting. You're no longer planning. Like you guys really need to like go apart and you need to put your focus on the girl of your dreams, which is Aki Aragaki. So I don't know, like. It, the anime just kind of pissing me off a little bit. And on top of that, you know, we have the, we have fat boy turned fat girl or whatever. Um, that basically got wrapped up instantly. The moment cleavage came into play, uh, the moment that Masame saw her, uh, cleavage, he's just like, Oh, cleavage. And she just runs away and she ends up just selling the mansion and gaining an apartment and everything works out. It's like, yo, you couldn't, it's just so many loopholes. There's so many holes, not loopholes, but just so many holes it's like you couldn't have just done that then to begin with. Like you couldn't have just sold your house to save your sister instead of plotting like, you know, plotting all of these different back end things while you're a girl. And like there's so many holes that it enters and it just like it just it just went all good here. All right, let's move on to the next thing. And like it's just all rubbed me the wrong way. And, you know, the, my original love for this anime was that it was silly and funny and um, a little crazy and a little out there. And I just feel like it's lost some of its magic in season two. And it's a little disappointing. And if it does end up going that, you know, Masame actually loves 
Yoshino and Yoshino's actually the one that she's been there all along and even though she screwed him over royally that he already forgave her kind of thing like oof I just don't know like I'm gonna finish watching it but like I I just don't know if this, this is gonna be one of those ones to where it's like season two ruined season one um and I kind of feel that way for like Devil's a part-timer too I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but that that one finally returned after like 10 12 years and the second season was fine you know, I feel the same way with Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Like, the first season was awesome. And then the season two came out, and it was fine. Like, it was more, you know? I just, like, I feel like there's other anime that they come with season two, and it's like, wow. The other anime, too, was, like, that go- the gorilla anime, uh, the my f- the Fruit of Evolution. Season two came out, you're like, what the hell is this? What am I watching? And, like, sometimes we get a season two or season three, and it's just, like, more of, like, that, yeah, this is it. This is what I'm here for. And then we get a season two sometimes, and it's just like, yo, you guys are ruining the show, low key. You know what I mean? Like, it's a little, um, yeah, just a little disappointing. I'll leave you on that. Let me know what you guys thought. All right, my friends. Peace.